Hey folks, welcome to OSP. Today we've got something really interesting to discuss. Cerner versus Epic. Which EHR will fit your practice? Since both Cerner and Epic need no introduction, we'll begin looking at different aspects of them to help you choose. Let's begin by looking at the market share of both Cerner and Epic. Epic holds the top spot with 31% share. Cerner comes right after Epic with 25%. Well, Epic gained more hospital beds last year compared to Cerner, indicating it's increasing rapidly and has a larger hold on the EHR market. Moving on, let's see the type of businesses that use Cerner and Epic. Well, both are used by similar types of businesses, be it hospitals or healthcare, IT or medical practices. Perhaps hospitals and healthcare businesses are the largest users of Cerner and Epic. 45% of healthcare businesses use Epic and 28% Cerner. We saw types of businesses that uses Epic and Cerner, but size of businesses also matters when you want to decide between Cerner and Epic. Numbers highlight that medium to large scale businesses mostly prefer Epic compared to Cerner. And in the next few seconds, we'll tell you why. Before we go on to the features of Cerner and Epic, you need to know about their products and how flexible these products are. Well, Cerner offers three major products along with API. Since its products are mostly used for ambulatory and prescribing purposes, the flexibility of Cerner is debatable. Epic, with six major products, caters two different types of practices and is more flexible than Cerner. As I tell you about the flexibility of Cerner and Epic, I feel you must know what determines it. Well, that's these features. Take a look at this chart. This chart sheds light on all potential features of Cerner and Epic. This illustration not only shows features, but also compares them between both Cerner and Epic. Moving on, it's time to understand some of the important metrics of Cerner and Epic. And the first one I'll take up is interoperability. Well, there's no debate that both Cerner and Epic are interoperable. Cerner offers seamless interoperability between its proprietary system and other health systems. But with Epic, it's different. It offers limited interoperability and connects primarily with other Epic systems only. The next metric I think is important to take into account is ease of installation. Well, Cerner is undoubtedly easier to install and implement. And with the right training, provider's internal team or TP vendors can also install it. But the tough one is Epic. Only Epic's IT team can install and implement it efficiently. Having said, let's move on to the next metric, which is user friendliness. I have only acquired mixed reviews on this aspect. Some say Cerner is more user friendly than Epic, and some prefer Epic for user friendliness. Perhaps I think Cerner has a responsive UI design and intuitive dashboards, but Epic has a customizable UI design. So I guess it's a win-win for both. Now let's know about customer support, which is another crucial metric. Cerner and Epic both are at edge to edge in this because both offers 24 slash seven customer support. But the only difference is Cerner offers via e-service portal and Epic via phone. Well, I think here Epic has slightly better customer support owing to its 24 HRS turnaround time for replies, which Cerner doesn't have. Cerner's slow response is a common issue that many users have often pointed out. Moving on. Two last and most important metrics, pricing. Although not much information is available on the exact pricing of Cerner and Epic, yet approximate figures reveal Cerner is cheaper. Cerner can cost you around $25 a month and Epic around $200 to $35,000 a month. But there's a catch. Even though Cerner is cheaper, it doesn't offer a free trial version, but Epic does. So you can try first and then decide. With four metrics giving insights about Cerner and Epic, I think integration process is also something you must check. And the first thought that comes about Cerner Epic integration is IT specialists. Well, both require IT specialists, but for Epic integration, specialists from Epic are needed. Apart from integration team, 
complexity of integration is another aspect to consider. Clearly, Cerner is comparatively less complex to integrate than Epic. But Cerner is prone to a lot of technical glitches, which Epic typically isn't. From complexity, it's time to move to flexibility of integration. Well, in this, I have to give Cerner the upper hand as it's more flexible to integrate. But Epic isn't. Also, in data mapping, Epic has limitations. Just complexity and flexibility are not enough. It's essential to know is Cerner or Epic integration customizable and scalable? Well, the answer for both is yes. But due to limited features, Cerner integration offers limited customization and isn't as scalable as Epic. With these aspects of integration and other metrics in mind, I'm sure you have drawn some insights on Cerner and Epic. But the bottom line is your business vision. Is it short-term or long-term? And who will fit the vision the best? Cerner or Epic? Drawing a conclusion from different factors, I think it hugely depends on your practice and requirements. Cerner serves short-term vision and small practices and Epic long-term goals and larger hospitals. Perhaps, if your business is small but needs more features and has a budget, you can go for Epic or vice versa. And that brings us to the end of this discussion. Do you need help with integration? We at OSP have the capability of integrating Cerner and Epic EHR into your existing systems. We can also guide you through the integration and implementation process. For more details, check out our website, ospLabs.com. Stay tuned for more such interesting videos.